Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at listening to and installing the Flowmaster Flow FX direct fit muffler available for the 2019 and newer 5.7 Ram Hemis with the factory dual exhaust. As you just heard from our sound clips, you should be checking this out if you're looking for a deeper, throatier tone, not necessarily something with a lot more volume, but more of an aggressive tone with a crisp, clean sound. That's gonna be this guy here. I'm giving it two out of five on our loudness meter. It's a really great daily driver exhaust for guys who want that more aggressive tone without having to worry about hearing it inside the cabin, whether it be from red light to red light or at cruising speeds going on a long road trip with the family in the truck. This exhaust here is, again, that best of both worlds. At wide open throttle, you get a little bit of a bark outside the cabin, not so much inside. When you're just at really low RPMs in a low gear, just cruising down the street, you honestly might not even realize it's aftermarket. It sounds pretty stock. Once you get on it, you get those deeper, throatier tones, but not so much any more volume. Now, this guy here is made from 304 stainless steel from head to toe. It's got a nice polished finish to it three inch inlet, three inch outlet there to work perfectly with your factory dual exhaust. Now, if you have aftermarket tailpipes or over axle pipes, or if you have an aftermarket inlet pipe, just make sure they're the same size as the factory inlet and outlet to make sure it works with this direct fit muffler. But if you have that factory dual exhaust, no need to worry, it bolts right up. With that said, this guy's gonna come in right around 400 bucks. Install wise, I'm giving it three out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here, because it does require cutting the factory muffler off in one section. Now that section is gonna be right behind the muffler where it goes over the axle and splits into that Y pipe going into both of those tailpipes. You have to cut that guy off one simple clean cut using a Sawzall, at least that's what I recommend, or a cutting tool of your choice. On the other side, you're just unbolting the factory flange and you're gonna bolt up the new exhaust or the new muffler in its place. It is very simple. It's only gonna take you about an hour, but it does require the extra step of cutting. If you don't feel comfortable tackling it yourself, no shame handing it over to a professional to get done properly. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. What do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include an impact gun, a sawzall, or a cutting tool of your choice. 14 and 16 millimeter swivel sockets are recommended, 15 millimeter deep socket, 14 millimeter wrench, and gloves, and eye protection. First step for the uninstall, there is some cutting. So I've got my sawzall here with a thin curved metal blade. What we're gonna do is start on the rear end of our muffler, toward the rear of our truck. We're gonna cut right up against the weld that connects the muffler to the extension pipe that splits into the dual exhaust. So you're just gonna basically use that weld there as a marker and cut directly next to it all the way through. Now when you're cutting, you wanna make sure you have the proper eye protection. I recommend also using some gloves. Now that the cutting's out of the way, grab a hanger removal tool. We're gonna to pop the two hangers off right above the muffler. I am using a pole jack underneath of our muffler just for some added support. All right, there's one more hanger by the flange that we're gonna have to disconnect. You also wanna make sure you're pulling off that ground strap. So we disconnect that, use the hanger tool to pop this guy off. Next, switch over to a 16 millimeter socket. I'm using a swivel socket just to make life a little easier. Get the two bolts off of that flange. Once you get the second bolt out, this whole thing is free. I have a pole jack on the other side for support. Just make sure you're ready to grab it. From here, you can lift the entire thing off in one piece.
So we got our factory muffler off of our 1957 Ram here, and it's on the table next to our Flowmaster Flow FX muffler. And I wanna take you through some similarities and differences. And I wanna start with the most obvious being the size. Now your factory muffler is this huge cylindrical shaped muffler with a ton of baffling on the inside, really muting the aggressive tones that you wanna get out of the Hemi engine. And it's also gonna slow down the airflow, which can rob you of some horsepower and torque that you would otherwise get with a more free flowing muffler like this one here. Now the Flowmaster Flow FX is more of a single chambered muffler muffler. It's not like some of the bullet styles you get in the category. It's more of a traditional shape there. It's going to allow the airflow to go through a lot more freely in your factory muffler, which can actually give you a small bump in that horsepower and torque that I mentioned earlier. Now, the nice thing about this is it's a really high quality 409 stainless steel. It's got a three inch inlet, three inch outlet. It's going to match up perfectly with the rest of the exhaust that is still installed on the vehicle from the inlet pipe to the tailpipe over the axle. It's also gonna give you that sound profile that you heard earlier in our sound clips, something a lot more aggressive, but not too overwhelming. Now, you wanna make sure that your factory gasket is still installed on the pipe left on the vehicle, that inlet pipe where the flange is. Just pop it off and stick it back on the pipe or the flange still on the truck. From there, use the new bolts included in the kit to tighten it down, along with the new clamp. So that's what we're gonna do next. Make sure you have a clamp on the outlet end below the two little hangers there. We're gonna connect it to the factory pipe that we cut off above the axle. Slide that pipe in place. I'm gonna connect the hanger by our factory flange first by lifting it up and slipping it through. All right, and obviously this gets a little bit easier if you lubricate it, but you're just gonna slide that guy right in. Let's connect the hangers above the axle next and then we'll bolt it down. All right, above the axle, I'm just gonna connect our hangers here. Now this one, you may need to push one side to the other to get this guy to slip in just because they are a little bit longer, but again, lubrication is gonna be your friend here. All right, last hanger isolator here, pull this guy back. Perfect. Now let's connect our flange and then we'll tighten down our clamp. All right, next let's pinch these guys together. Might take a little bit of force to get them to close that gap there. You wanna pinch it, put your washers on one side, follow it up with a nut. Okay, same thing on the top. Now we're gonna grab our 14 swivel socket and wrench and tighten these two down. All right, grab your 15 deep socket and tighten down your clamp. From here, you're good to go. Well, that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Flowmaster Flow FX Direct Fit Muffler for the 19 and newer 5.7 Ram with the factory dual exhaust. Either way, get yours right here at americantrucks.com.